In this tutorial, we are going to start with the same Quick Start parameter settings we configured in the Quick Start tutorial. We will add two pumps onto the basic level application and configure the single point Multiranger 100 to control both pumps. The pump control scenario we are going to use is a fixed duty assist pumping routine. A fixed duty assist pumping routine means that as the liquid rises to a specific point in the vessel, the first pump will start running. If the liquid level continues to rise, then the second pump will start running and assist the first pump until the liquid level drops to a specified lower level. When the liquid reaches the specified lower level, both pumps will stop running. As you can see, the multi-ranger is actively measuring the level of liquid in the vessel. Our first step is to put the multi-ranger into program mode. We do this by pushing the mode key, then the next display key twice. The LCD display will now show P dash dash dash. We are now ready to configure the four parameters necessary to control our pumps. The first parameter is parameter 110. Enter 110 to go to this parameter. This parameter sets the level source controller for the pump control relays. We will use the first two relays as the pump control relays. The level source controller for these two relays will be transducer number one. The multi-ranger display is currently showing that the level source controller for relay number one is transducer number one. The single digit above the parameter number field is the index value. The index value shown is 1. This value represents transducer number 1 as the level source controller. The pair of digits in the upper left of the LCD is the index number. The index number shown is 0, 1. This represents relay number 1. To see the level source controller for the other relays, press the next display key twice or until the index number field shows dash dash. Then use the up arrow and down arrow key to scroll through the available relays. As we do this, we can see that each of the relays has an index value of 1. This means that transducer number 1 is the level source controller for all of the relays. Therefore, we do not have to change the level source controller for any of the relays. We can now go to the next parameter. We are now going to set the relay control function for each of the relays using parameter 111. To access this parameter, press the next display key three times or until the display shows P dash 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 in the parameter number field. Enter 1 1 1 to access this parameter. The relay control functions for a multi-ranger 100 are grouped into three categories, general, pump, or control. Since we want to use relays 1 and 2 to control fixed duty pumps, we will use the fixed duty pump control function. As you can see, the index field shows 0, 4, for relay number 4. Since we want to use relays 1 and 2 to control the pumps, we have to change this value. Press the next display key twice until dash dash appears in the index field. Then press the down arrow key three times until the index number field shows 0, 1 for relay number 1. We are now ready to assign the fixed duty assist relay control function to relay number one. You can see in the programming chart that the fixed duty assist function has a numeric value of 50. We enter 5, 0, followed by the enter key to assign the fixed duty assist relay control function to relay number one. This means that pump number one is a fixed duty assist pump that is started and stopped by relay number one. 
Pump number two will also be a fixed duty assist pump. In this case, pump number two will be controlled by relay number two. To assign this function to relay number two, press the next display key twice until dash dash appears in the index field. Then press the up arrow key to go to index number two. Once again, we enter five, zero, followed by the enter key to assign the fixed duty assist relay function to the relay. The next step is to assign the on and off set points for each of the pumps. The on and off set points are based on the level of liquid in the vessel. Each of the pumps will have a unique on set point. Pump number one will start first, and then if it needs assistance to lower the liquid level, pump number two will start. Both pumps will continue running until the liquid level reaches the off set point value. Parameter 112 stores the values for the on set points. Press the next display key three times or until P dash 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 appears in the parameter number field. Enter 1, 1, 2 to access parameter 112. As we can see, the index field is showing 0, 2, indicating relay number 2. We want to set the on point for relay number 1 first. Press the next display key twice until dash dash appears in the index field, then press the down arrow key to go to index number one. Since parameter 112 has not been previously set, four dashes are visible in the parameter value field. This indicates a null value. We want pump number one to start first, so we will program its on set point to coincide with a liquid level value of 1.8 meters. Enter 1 decimal 8 followed by the enter key to program the on set point. Relay number 1 will now start pump number 1 when the liquid level reaches 1.8 meters. Now let's program the on set point for pump number 2. Press the next display key. Dash dash is visible in the index field. Then press the up arrow to go to index number two or relay number two. We are going to have pump number two come on after pump number one and only if pump number one cannot pump down the liquid level on its own. We will program relay number two to come on if the liquid level rises to two meters. Enter two, followed by the enter key. The display will now show 2.000 meters. Pump number two will now come on when the liquid level rises to two meters. We now have to program the offset points for each relay. The offset points are stored in parameter number 113. Press the next display key three times or until P dash 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 is visible in the parameter number field. Enter 1, 1, 3 for parameter 113. Parameter 113 stores the level value that is used to stop the pumps. For example, we will have both pumps switch off when the level reading is 0.5 meters. Since the index field shows 0, 2 for relay number 2, we will program the offset point for this pump first. The parameter value field shows four dashes, indicating that this index has a null value for parameter 113. To set this to our 0.5 meter offset point, enter 0, decimal, 5, followed by the enter key. We will set relay number 1 to the same offset point value.
press the next display key twice or until dash dash appears in the index field and use the down arrow key to go to relay number one. Once again, we see four dashes in the parameter value field indicating a null value. To set this to our 0.5 meter off set point value, enter 0, decimal 5, followed by the enter key. The Multiranger 100 is now configured to control two fixed duty assist pumps. The final step is to put the Multiranger 100 back into run mode. Push the mode key to switch from the program mode to the run mode. We can now see on the Multiranger display that relays 1 and 2 are active and currently in their open state position. This means that the liquid level is below the pump number 1 on set point and that both pumps are not running. To see how the multiranger relays can be used for other control functions, please view the tutorial Setting Alarm Relays.